Hi everyone. The problem now that we are going to solve involves the input table as orders. This table has below columns order ID that is the ID of the order, order date that is the date on which the order was placed, order amount that is the amount of the order, order cust ID which is the customer ID who placed the order. So every entry gives information about the order as to when the order was placed, of how much amount the order was and who the customer was who placed the order. Now as part of the output we need to find series of 3 orders that are placed within 7 days by customers. So for example let's take this customer with customer ID as 10. So this customer placed the first order on 13th Jan. If we see the second order placed by this customer it is on 22nd Feb. So the difference between these two orders is more than 30 days. So we cannot consider this record as it is not ordered within 7 days. Basically we are looking for 3 consecutive orders wherein the order was placed within 7 days. So for example in this case the first order is on 22nd Feb, next is after 4 days that is 26th Feb and the last order if we consider from the 22nd Feb it is after 5 days. So within 5 days like overall within 7 days these 3 orders are placed. So these 3 orders will be the part of the output. On similar lines if we take another example for customer ID 63. So customer ID 63 has placed first order on 11th March but the second order is on 25th March. So this customer also is out of equation. Moreover he has done only 2 orders but we are looking for consecutive 3 orders within 7 days. So that is the requirement and just talking about this customer ID 78. So this customer has placed these 3 orders within 7 days that is 16th, 18th and 23. So this is within the 7 days period. So this will be part of the output as we see here. Similarly there is another set here if we see from 18th onwards this 3 order also forms a set that is done within 7 days. So that's why this is kind of another set that we have. Note that although these 2 dates belong to 2 sets but there will be only one entry for them. So this is what the output is. We have to find series of 3 orders placed within 7 days. So let's get going and solve this problem. Ok. So we will work on the input table which is orders. So from the input table what we will do is. So let's see the input table. This is the input table. We will keep all the columns as it is. And now what we will do is for each of the entry that is present we will find out which is the immediate next entry that is the next order date when the customer placed the order that is what we will find. So let's do it. So for that we will use the lead window function and we have to find the order date. So and now we have to specify the window. So since we have to identify the next order date for each of the customer. So it's kind of grouping based on the customer ID. So we will do partition by or we can say we are doing the grouping based on the customer ID. So this is what we have done and uh, finally we have to specify the order by which we have to arrange them. So we will specify order by the order date. So in this 
sequence the arrangement is that is in the ascending order of the order date so what we will call this as order date 2 suppose let's call this column as order date 2 as this is the second order that we are looking for let's run and see the output so as we see for each of the entry we have identified which is the immediate next order that was done by this customer so for example here the immediate next order is 22nd feb for this entry the immediate next order is 26th feb likewise for this customer id 10 the last order is 27th feb so immediate next order is none so that's why the last entry is null so this way we have identified what is the next order date by using the lead function now since we are interested in series of three orders what we need to do is we also need to find out which is the immediate second order okay so following the first order which is the next order so for that again we will use the lead function so in the lead function in the second parameter we will specify it as 2 saying that by default it goes to first level that it is it will find the next uh, order here but by specifying the second parameter as 2 it will go to the next row that is the second row from whichever row we are trying to fetch the data so having done this again the grouping will be same and the order by also will be the same let's call it as order date 3 and let's run and see the output so now for each of the order date we have determined which is the immediate next order and immediate very next order so immediate two next orders order date we have determined for each and every entry okay but uh, how does uh, this help to solve the problem okay so now what we will do is we will find the difference between these two dates that is order date and order date 2 and similarly order date and order date 3 so uh, what we will do is first of all let's add this as part of a cte so let's call it as ordered cte okay now we will operate on this ordered cte what we will do is let's keep all the columns as it is and we will use the date diff function and find the difference in days between the order date and order date 2 so let's call it as diff2 and similarly on similar lines we'll find the difference between the first order date and the last order date that is this column let's call it as diff3 let's run and see the output okay so now what we have done is we have determined the difference between the dates so difference between the first order date and the very next order date is here similarly difference between the first order date and the third order that was placed after this order we have determined that difference as well so the idea here is both these differences should be less than equal to 7 then we can say that that is the valid entry that we are looking for so from this date if the next date is within the 7 days and also the third date that is the third order that is placed from this date onwards is within 7 days then we can say that's a valid entry so for that what we will do is we have to check this that both these are within 7 so for example this is a valid entry then we will go down and see the other ones even this is a valid entry and this is a valid entry because both the columns are within 7 okay so what we will do is we will add a 
filter condition using the where clause. So we will uh, check this column that it is less than equal to seven and even the second uh, date difference is also less than equal to seven. Okay, so let's run and see the output. Okay, so now we have this output. Now here as we see for the customer ID 10, the first order that is placed on 22nd Feb, the next order on 26th Feb and the third order on 27th Feb. All the three days are within the seven days range. So that's why this satisfies the condition that we are looking for. Similarly, in this case for customer ID 78, the first order placed on 16th June, second on 18th June and third on 23rd June satisfies the seven days range criteria. Okay, so what we will do is let's keep only the columns that we need here and remove the other ones. So we will keep the customer ID. We will keep the order date and let's name it as order date one just for uh, simplicity and understanding purpose. And let's keep the other two dates that is order date two and order date three. Let's run this and see the output. So for each of the customer, now we have determined which are the three orders that are within the seven days range. Now, having found this, we simply have to fetch the orders that are placed on these days. Okay, so for example, for customer ID 10, we have to find the order placed on 22nd, 26th and 27th. Similarly, for customer ID 78, find the orders placed on 16th June, 18th June and 23rd June. So what we can do is we can do a join here and identify the data. And also if we can do a range that is get the orders from 22nd till 27th, we can find all the orders. We don't need to specify the second order date. So that is how we will operate. We will find the orders for this customer ID placed between 22nd Feb and 27th Feb. So these are the date ranges that we will be using for fetching the orders. Okay. So this is the output that we have generated now. Let's add it as part of a CTE. Let's call it as customer CTE. Now what we will do is we will take our input data that is orders table. So as we see at the top orders is our input table. So we will do a inner join on the input table with the data that we just generated that is customer CTE. Let's give the alias as C and we will join it on the customer ID. Let's join both this on the customer ID. And second thing is we want to get all the orders in the order date lying between these two dates that is order date one and order date three. So let's specify that order date one and order date three. And now we will fetch all the columns from the source table. So which is the source table? It is orders. So let's specify the columns. So we have order ID, order date, we have order amount and we have order cust ID. So we have specified all the columns. Let's run and see the output. So now we have fetched all the consecutive orders for each of the customer ID. So this is the first set and uh, this is the second set. Uh, let's do one more thing. Let's uh, sort it. Um, then it will be easy to visualize. So we will order it by the customer ID and so let's mention it uh, the source customer ID and the second column that we will give is the order date. Let's run this after ordering the data so that it's easier to visualize. 
so this is the output we have so this is the first set this is the second set along with the 23rd and uh, this is the last set that is 18 23 and 24 so like we see there is some duplication of data because these dates fall in two ranges so for example for customer id 78 the order placed on 16th 18th and 23rd forms one set the second set is 18 23 and 24 lying within seven days range so just to eliminate the duplicates let's do a group by here so we will just specify all the columns so as to eliminate the duplicates and let's run and see the output so now we have eliminated the duplicates this is the first set of this customer id 10 for customer id 78 there are two sets this is one set and this is another set of three consecutive order placed within seven days so we have identified the output correctly for each of the customer for three orders placed with within seven days okay so now what we will do is we will go through the query that we have written so this is the query we have written to find the output let's do a quick walkthrough of what we have done so from the input table orders we have determined the very next order for a customer and we have done the ordering based on the order date in ascending order so for each of the order date we have determined the very next order and also we have determined the third order that is placed by using this lead two okay in the second parameter we have passed two so this way we have fetched the third order date from the particular order that we have placed so we have determined two consecutive order date and one we already have so likewise we have three order dates for a customer once we have that we just do the difference between the first order date and the other order dates that we have fetched that we have determined and check that it is less than or equal to seven ensuring that all the three days lies within seven days so once we do that we will get the required dates that we are looking for okay so once we have the three dates we simply have to do the inner join with the source table based on the customer id and the order dates lying between the smaller date and the larger date so once we do that we will get the required orders now it is possible that some of the order might be present in two or more sets so to eliminate the duplicate we have done the grouping by all the columns so this way we have solved the problem so please go through it the create table and insert statements will be added in the description if you found the video useful please like the video please share the video in your circle if you have not yet subscribed the channel please subscribe and please share your feedback in the comments. Thank you.